Hey everyone, this is TV from WSO2 and today we'll be looking at how to add Facebook login to WSO2 identity server. First, go to developers.facebook.com and on the top right hand corner click on my app. Then click on create app, select manage business integration, give a name to your application and then choose yourself or your own business and click on create app ID. Then go through the security check and confirm that you are not a robot. Then under settings, select basic and copy the app ID and store it safely somewhere because we'll be needing it later. Then copy the app secret and store it safely as well. Then add the domain name of your server under app domains. My server is running locally so let me add localhost and save changes. Once that's done, open Identity Server's Carbon Console and log in with your admin credentials. Then click on Add under Identity Providers and give a name to your identity provider. I'm going to use Facebook here. Then under Federated Authenticators, expand Facebook configuration, enable Facebook authentication and paste the app ID into client ID and app secret into client secret and register the identity provider. Now that we have added Facebook as an identity provider to our identity server, let's move on to our next step. In the next step, we'll be adding Facebook to the authentication step. Click on list under service providers and click on edit against your service provider. Then under local and outbound authentication configuration, select advanced configuration. Then click on add authentication step and select basic as the local authenticator and Facebook as the federated authenticator click on update and update the service provider as well. This completes the configuration and we have now added Facebook as an authentication step. Now let's test our configuration. This is my sample SBA application and let me click on sign in. Now you'll be taken to WSO2 identity server's single sign on page and as you can see now you get the sign in with Facebook option. Let me click on it. And I am taken to Facebook's login page and let me log in with my credentials. And then select approve always and click on continue. And here we go, we have logged into our application through our Facebook account. 